Hi everyone, let's talk about the difference in sum of powers factorizations. What we're going to be doing is trying to generalize the fact that x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y times x plus y. This is called the difference of squares factorization. So we're going to be gaining some inspiration from the sum of a geometric series. Recall that it says that z to the power of n minus 1 divided by z minus 1 is equal to z to the power of n minus 1 plus z to the power of n minus 2 all the way down to z squared plus z plus 1. Now if we clear the denominator what we get is that z to the power of n minus 1 is equal to z minus 1 times z to the power of n minus 1 plus z to the power of n minus 2 all the way down to z squared plus z plus 1. And you might be wondering what if z equals to 1 because then we're dividing by 0 but this identity still holds in that case because if z equals to 1 then it just says that 0 equals to 0 so the identity still holds for all complex numbers z so the trick is to substitute in for z x over y and what we get then is that x over y to the power of n minus 1 is equal to x over y minus 1 times x over y to the n minus 1 plus x over y to the n minus 2 all the way through to x over y squared plus x over y plus 1. And now what we're going to do is clear the denominators. And we'll do that by multiplying by y multiplying by y to the n for both sides. What we get is that x to the n minus y to the n we have the difference of nth powers now is equal to x minus y so we're multiplying by 1y here and for this sum here this factor we're multiplying by y to the n minus 1 so together it's y to the n we get x to the n minus 1 plus x to the n minus 2y it should have been x to the n minus 2 here all the way th down to x square y to the n minus 3 plus x y to the n minus 2 plus y to the n minus 1 So that is the difference of powers factorization. The next question that we should ask ourselves is if it's possible to have a sum of powers factorization. So you should be able to notice that x squared plus y squared is not factor factorizable. So that means there is no general sum of powers factorization, but it is possible for x to the n plus y to the n where n is odd. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you that now and we can actually derive it directly from the 
difference of powers factorization because if n is odd, if n is odd, then x to the power of n plus y to the power of n is equal to x to the power of n minus negative y to the power of n. And this only works because n is odd. And what we get now is that this is equal to x minus minus y times x to the n minus 1 plus x to the n minus 2 times negative y all the way down to x times negative y to the power of n minus 2 plus negative y to the power of n minus 1. So let's take these negatives out of the parentheses now. What we get is that this is x plus y times x to the n minus 1 minus x to the n minus 2 y all the way down to negative x y to the n minus 2 plus y to the n minus 1 because n is odd that means n minus 1 is even so the negative cancels out. So what we have here is the sum of odd powers factorization and this has alternating signs. So we have a positive here and then a negative and then a positive all the way down to a negative and then another positive. So we call this the sum of odd powers factorization. The last thing that I want to mention to you is that it's possible to get a partial result in the case of even numbers, even exponents, because let's say n is equal to a times b. Then what you can do is that you can write x to the n plus or minus y to the n, you can choose plus or minus one of the two, is equal to x to the a to the, well let me write it out, uh, ab plus minus y to the ab, which is equal to x to the a to the power of b plus minus y to the a to the power of b, and that's also equal to x to the b to the power of a plus minus y to the b to the power of a. So we can write it as a sum or difference of powers uh, of bth powers or or eighth powers as long as they are factors of n. So let me give you an example. An example is that x to the power of 6 plus y to the power of 6. Even though 6 is even, we can write this as x squared to the power of 3 plus y squared to the power of 3. And then we can factor it using the difference of cubes factorization, which gives x squared plus y squared times x to the 4 minus x square y square plus y to the 4. And we can expand that out just to check that it actually works. We get x to the 6 minus x to the 4 y squared plus x square y to the 4 plus x to the 4 y squared minus x square y to the 4 minus sorry, plus y to the 6. And we find that x to the 4 y squares cancel out and x square y to the 4s cancel out. So this is in fact equal to x to the 6 plus y to the 6. 
So we can get a partial factorization even though the original exponents are even. So the only, the only case in which we have a real problem and we can't factor at all, if we have x to the 2 to the k plus y to the 2 to the k. These are powers of 2, so there are no odd factors, and this does not factor. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.